first medal is going to be handed out tonight, the Women's Synchronized Springboard event. To talk to us more about the sport, Mike Brown, coach for the Dos Rios Divers. Mike, thanks for coming and joining us out here tonight. How does synchronized diving differ from solo diving? Synchronized diving differs in that if you're watching it from the side of the pool, the goal is to see only one diver. You should not be able to see two. And that's really difficult to do with the level of dives that they're doing. They're competing really a uh, high degree of difficulty dives. And to camouflage the diver this farthest away from you, very, very hard. Wow, that does sound difficult. So what are the athletes actually judged on, Mike? They are judged uh, on two different things. Synchronicity, how well the dive is synchronized. This starts the moment. They begin their approach or their back press. They're judged on how high they jump, whether they lift the board at the same time, whether they hit the water at the same time. In between that, did they somersault and twist at the same time? Did they land the same distance from the diving board? Uh, same amount of splash. Again, you're only supposed to see one diver performing a very good dive. All right, for the people watching the Olympics on KCRI 3, who are some of the big names to watch for? Well, on the American side, uh, you've got to really look at uh, our synchro team that I'm most familiar with, and that's our men's team, uh, Troy Dumais and Christian Nipson. And I have watched both of these young men grow up. I first saw Troy when he was a junior diver in the 12, 13 age group. And then I've been watching Christian, who's actually a local kid from the Bay Area, since he was eight years old. So I've got to say, this is my favorite. Uh, another diver that we should really look at is Cassidy Crew. She's from Stanford University. She actually graduated, works in the alumni office there now. Uh, Cassidy's one of our top women uh, on three-meter springboard. So how young? What's the youngest you've heard of to start this? Uh, well, I went to China in 2006, and as part of their um, system, they select divers based on body type at age four. No kidding, four years old. Yeah. Uh, here in the United States, I've had uh, kids as young as six that were mature enough, um, and I currently have a seven-year-old. Wow, that's pretty young. Mike Brown, thank you for joining us. Expertise on synchronized diving, one of the sports we'll be watching during the Olympic Games in London.